Does God like prostitution? No. Somebody is going for prostitution. Ron's girl is going for prostitution. He left, entered flight at Asaba. Let's assume you are God. Is it not to make the flight, not to leave? That's the way to solve the problem. Maybe not to kill the person, but the flight will refuse to what? Leave. But God will allow the flight to leave. Allow the person to go there. Allow the person to finish. Allow the person to come back. Allow the person to give tight. This is the decree of the waters. This was is like wine in my belly. It is bursting like vent. Looking for where to overflow. He said, give me all tenants. There is an avalanche coming from the spirit, a deluge, a weight of God about to descend into the hearts of men. Priesthood can be hidden from men, but it's not hidden in the spirit. I am here looking for men that will be sent. Except messengers are sent. The generation will be without a voice. The tokens of God will be lost. Witnesses will be scarce. The name of the Lord will be put on the mouth. Find me! A generation we wander in darkness until God finds men that he can send. I was talking to somebody. I was talking to my brothers at Enugu the other day. I told them that um, I, I was I was trying to teach them a little on sovereign permissibility. There is what we call sovereign permissibility. Now, I'm choosing to put it in that context. What does it mean? For example, somebody wants to... Does God like prostitution? No. Somebody is going for prostitution. Ron's girl is going for prostitution. He left, entered flight at Asaba. Let's assume you are God. Is it not to make the flight, not to leave? That's the way to solve the problem. Maybe not to kill the person, but the flight will refuse to what? Leave. But God will allow the flight to leave. Allow the person to go there. Allow the person to finish. Allow the person to come back. Allow the person to give tight. It's in Nigeria that they give BB Niger tight. Money that is cost. Is not that thing can never quote me that I'm the one that said it. It can never be unto God. But that's by the way. Let's, let's stay in intercession. Amen? Amen. Don't be moved, don't be emotional. This is not, it's not God. The day. God wants to sort. He will pack all of those things and burn it down. It is, it is what man built. He can't survive anything. And that's why the corporate powers of the church is weak. And that's why many times you say we are the body of Christ. You have to be careful with that kind of statement. Because being in church doesn't make you a part of the body of Christ. Many people will come to Jesus and he will say, I never knew you. But they are inside the church. You say, Lord, but I paid tight. Pay tight, you led many people to hell. <laughs> Which is more important? Paying your tight and leading one soul to heaven. Which one is more important? Including the scripture testified that. That's not what pastors today believe. On. They believe you can lead many souls to hell and pay your tight. Then you, that's, you know, many people blamed the Roman Catholic Church of many years ago of selling penance. But that's what we are doing today. If you think that tithe is superior to the souls of men that has been bound perpetually in debauchery, lasciviousness, immorality, that is going straight to hell without hope, if you think so, it means that you feel that tithe because what they were doing, those you people know the story. They were building whatever they are building, and then they will collect money from you and say, The sins, both the one you have seen and the one you are going to sin, is already forgiven. 
just because they feel they are building something for God in the natural. Many of those cathedrals in Europe have become mosques, have become monuments. They have become a place for displaying things. Many of them have gone away. We have come to a generation that speak down on God and feel that nothing will happen. Because them that would have held the banners of righteousness strong, they had the opportunity and they chickened out and took material things as superior to the righteous things of heaven. And you come and say that you still gave to God. I put it to you that is your pastor you gave. And anybody that accepted such a thing will pay for it. The reason why we talk about it is that when you start paying for it, unfortunately, it's not only that person will pay, that will pay for it. It's all of us. Because they will be saying pastors, the church, Christians, they will not demarcate from you and them. Because some of them, when you start praying, they will start their own shalabababababababab. They came from fornication from their... Sorry I went here, but I think it's important. From their boyfriend's house, and they are going back after service. I'm not telling you, sorry. I was talking with somebody, said, I don't want to call the name of those two. Some of you know, almost everywhere, they're not making any distinction. Almost everywhere. Especially if you go to Lagos and some of those places that people don't really have time to see God very deep. Sometimes if they don't want, but there is no time. The small one, they enter into church, they use light and whatever, and, and before you know it, 30 minutes, everybody is going. They are coming from their boyfriend. Somebody told me that he actually came with two of his boyfriends to a very well-known church, and they finished all the services, they went back and continued. They are telling me that judgment won't come. What? The judgment that will come, people think is somebody will die, fall down and die. No, that is not the judgment. The first judgment is that power will be taken from the church. What is the power of the church? The lamp. That's not where I'm going. So, their ability, first of all, to reveal, to reveal the prophetic voice of God will be taken away from them. They will be sounding like clanging cymbals. And the voice of God will not be heard. Listen to me. People that are saying that it's not about the church, this one that is a taste, including an atheist, if he hears the prophetic voice of God, he can't resist it. He will shake. He might not submit, but he will not say, This one. Just like listening to me and say, You don't like it's not about liking me. You will say, This one. I don't, but this one. This one. Shout me so far, say.